Uh, good morning, everyone. This is Jeff from Tsinghua University. It's my pleasure to introduce WinFAS to you. And WinFAS is a framework that implements continuous filing for DBMSs. Database management systems are crucial for modern data intensive systems. And security vulnerabilities are particularly dangerous for DBMS because they might allow attackers to steal information, temper data, crash systems, and bring heavy losses. And filing is one of the popular methods to detect security vulnerabilities or database management system. The basic idea of filing is feeding the target program with enormous test case. The test case are generated using mutation-based or generation-based methods. By monitoring for exceptional behaviors during execution, filing can identify bugs. And continuous filing is a security testing methodology that involves continuously and automatically testing software applications for vulnerabilities using file testing techniques. Continuous filing is a practical to deploy filing and find bugs. For example, Google's OSS file had found uh, 36,000 uh, bugs across 1,000 open source projects. And OneFile is a continuous filing platform for uh, Microsoft and it is used by its key products. Uh, with the continuous filing, many popular function libraries and programs were uh, found serious bugs. These bugs include many types, including not only memory safety with the bugs such as buffer overflow or undefined behaviors, but also other problems such as timeouts. And the basic process of continuous DBMS filing has three steps. The first step is to custom the query generator for Unicode DBMS. It is important to ensure that generated queries exhibit both semantic and semantic coordinates. Any questionable input will be rejected. And this step typically involves reading circle specifications and then output the circle mutator. The second step is continuous filing on evolving code. The code of an enterprise level DBMS continuously evolves. To ensure stability, security, and efficiency, the committed code changes often undergo rigorous testing and validation. These steps input is a code base and commit, and the output is hoppers and crashes. And the final step involves detection and analysis of bugs against interruption, encompassing anomaly recognition, detail publication, and their minimization. Anomalies may occur during the query execution. To detect them, a filer needs to actively monitor the system to identify any deviations from the expected or designed behavior. After that, the anomalies need to be deduplicated to indicate ones. After this step, we can get back reports. We will encounter obstacles in each step. And the first obstacle is a diverse circle grammar, posing difficulties in test case generation. Different DBMS have unicode synaptics. Uh, for example, the grammars of trigger creation are very different, different uh, even in the most popular DBMS. For a Postgres circle, we should create a function and use the SQL procedure clause to target the function. Uh, well, for MariaDB, we should use the if-then clause. Tolerating the generator to the specificities of each DBMS ensures that the generated queries are compatible with the target system, enhancing the effectiveness of the testing process. And the second obstacle is the ongoing evolution of code base, which creates difficulties for continuous testing. First, it is challenging to efficiently test the updated portions in a new version. When applied to a specific code submission, uh, the challenge lies in isolating and evaluating the security impact of the submission within the broader context of the application. Understanding the exact triggers, inputs, and data passes affected by the new code can be intricate, especially in complex software ecosystems with numerous dependencies. And the third obstacle is the disturbance of noises, introducing complexities in anomaly detection and analysis. First, the automatic recovery mechanisms introduce noise into the file's detection of anomalies, as they typically rely on checking whether the connection is normal. For example, with the recovery mechanism, ClickHouse maintains its connections with the father and can even continue accepting generated queries. Consequently, a father encounters challenges in determining whether the DDMs uh, has crashed. And secondly, uh, the recovery mechanism will also bring notices for anomaly analysis. Specifically, the mechanism might interrupt the problem problematic thread, blending the core stack of the anomaly with the core stack of multiple threads. This introduces notices to a stack trace used for exception uh, uh, analysis. 
In addition, the analysis from the previous query execution will also influence the analysis. Many states with art fighters execute tests on DBMS consecutively, leading to uh, interreference between tests. And to overcome the obstacles, we uh, propose being fast. In step one, to overcome the diverse core grammar, in fact, constructs the query metator from the grammar specification of the DBMS. And in step two, to address the ongoing evolution code base, in fact, continuously finds the latest version, accumulating corpus to perform rapid commit finding on code affected by version changes. And in step three, to insulate the noises, in fact, isolates the execution of the test cases and directly captures anomaly signals. Uh, WinFAD addresses obstacle one by automatically driving the custom mutator from the DBMS grammar specification. The SQL mutator comprises two components, a SQL transfer and an AST mutator. The SQL transfer converts a SQL query into an AST, and the AST mutator alters the structure of data elements of the original AST to generate a new one. First, we extract tokens and circle grammar rules from the circle grammar field, then translate them into a unified grammar specification using the unified grammar paradigm. Uh, the tokens and the rules will be used to generate a lecture and a parser for the circle transfer. Then, for each grammar rule, we analyze it to find the data-related elements that request the data model in DBMSs. We will add specific, specific mutation rules for uh, each data element, which are used to mutate the data uh, element of AST. And WinFAD overcomes obstacle two by employing the corpus generated through long-term filing to conduct rapid commit filing. In the long-term filing, WinFAD maintains the corpus containing the smallest inputs ever discovered in file testing, which are capable of providing the broadest uh, code coverage. When commit is limited to the code base, it will carry out commit filing. It first identifies the smallest functions that either contain the commit changes or invoke the new, new functions. Then it extracts specific inputs related to these functions. Then a time-limited filing is performed, uh, which is guided by coverage related to the new commit code. And then file address obstacle three by directly introducing each thread of DBMS and dropping databases before executing each test case. To avoid system noise, when the exception signal is received from any thread, it is categorized as a DBMS anomaly. The monitor intercepts the signal and suspends the thread. Subsequently, the back analyzer will extract the stack trace of the thread along with other comprehensive data, such as the shared bit map. After that, the back analyzer, uh, back analyzer demands terminates the whole DBMS by passing its recurrent mechanism. Then WinFAD deletes all database and restarts the DBMS. Moreover, to avoid the noise from previous executions, WinFAD adopts a strategy of isolating the execution of individual test cases. Uh, to evaluate the generating and efficiency of WinFAD, we choose four open source DBMSs to test. Uh, we compare it with three state of the art files, including Squirrel, Pickle Lancer, and Squirrel Smith. We compare them with current branches and report reproduced backs. The left table demonstrates the branches covered by those fathers over 24 hours. It shows that the wind father covered 41% to 85% more branches than other fathers. And the right table shows the number of bugs found by each father. It shows that the wind father found more bugs than other fathers. And to evaluate the effectiveness of each component in WinFAS, we gradually add each component. The raw version uses raw mutation algorithm in AFL with auto grammar adaption. And the left table demonstrates the branch covered for 24 hours, and the right table shows the backs. It shows that the grammar based mutation brings about uh, 400,000 more branches and five more backs than the raw version. And combined with the evolving code funding, the version finds about 7,000 more branches and three more backs. Additionally, when noise resident anomaly assessment is also in input, the version finds about 6,000 fewer branches because of the extra overhead. However, it finds 19 more reproduced bugs. The results show that all three companies contributed to bug discovery. And we also use WinFA to test 12 popular or enterprise level DBMSs like MarioDB and ClickHouse. And WinFA reported a total of uh, 236 bugs. All identified bugs have been reported to the corresponding DBMS vendors, and we have received positive responses from them. Among these reports, 232 bugs have been confirmed. Uh, and more importantly, our efforts have earned expressions of gratitude 
killed from many DBMS vendors. For example, the founder of Circulite faced the win fight at a groundbreaking analysis tool, and the developers of MonetDB praised they are the best kind we can wish at the bad reports. And the CTO of uh, ClickHouse priest, which tool did you use to find the test case? We need to integrate it in, into our CI. And uh, uh, WinFAD now has been successfully integrated into the development process of ClickHouse. Uh, here we show two case studies. The first case is a segmentation relation in ClickHouse. The back is located in six C++ fields in ClickHouse source code. It is triggered by the combination of ClickHouse's order by tuple and Windows functions, which is unique code to ClickHouse. Due to WinFast as a solution of execution, we can also extract the triggering and test case and relate the core stack for reproducing and analyzing this back. And the second case, is a use after free in MariaDB. Uh, the back was hidden deeply in the class uh, item function in. The area in this class would be used to store temporary data in an associated column. However, the cleanup function is called by mistake and the error is freed, which may still be used when uh, operating the table V0. Finally, a use after free happens when MariaDB executes the select statement. Uh, then we get our conclusion. We present the practice of implementing and deploying continuous filing on enterprise-level DBMSs. In contrast to using filing on function libraries or utility programs, this process pre presents great obstacles. The diverse input grammar, continuous evolution of code base, and system noise within a DBMS introduce difficulties in adapting to diverse grammar, uh, continuously filing in one code, and capture and analyzing impact anomalies. We analyze these obstacles and propose the win files, which utilize specification based mutator construction, corpus driving one code filing, and North resident anomaly assessment to address them. We implement win files to test 12 enterprise level DBMSs and discovered a total of 236 previously undiscovered bugs. Due to positive testing outcome, we received praise from these vendors, and the win files have been incorporated into the deploy, deploy development process of ClickHouse. Uh, thank you.